Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on this channel. Today I am going over three or four, I haven't decided yet, but at least three apps that will be great to use as your second brain. And the first one is Reflect. So it has backlinking, it has a map view, it has tasks, which is really good. The app is really, really fast, especially on mobile. And overall, I like the development of this app. The best part about Reflect is its AI palette. It integrates with GPT-4 and does a lot of cool things so having AI inside of your note-taking app is really good and it works great with reflect and you can even add your own prompts to the AI palette and use your own prompts so overall this is one of my favorite apps out there to build your second brain. The next one is called Anytype and it looks a lot like Notion but just like Reflect it has a graph view, it has backlinking abilities and it is private and as of today it is open source as well. I love this app, it stores all of your files privately and as markdown files so you can easily migrate to another app if you wanted to. I love what they are doing and the app overall looks really good. It is still in beta so there are still a few bugs but the app has gotten a lot better for the amount of time I have been using it. It has a bigger learning curve than something like Reflect but it's still a very very good app especially if you have been using Notion before and I am just going to touch on the second brain apps that are newer. I know that things like Notion and Obsidian, LogSec and so on there are a lot of videos on them and all of them are great note-taking apps but I have a few newer ones and these two are two of the apps I have been testing out. The last one is actually a little bit different so it is called Tooth and it is great to remember everything. I actually did that right now but uh, it is great for remembering everything so everything from to-dos to your notes. I actually use Para inside of this app as well. Uh, and I have been loving it. So I have my resources, I have my ongoing projects, I have my social media, which is an area. So I store everything inside of Para in this app. And you can do that with a lot of apps. It has a social element to it as well, but Overall, this is one of my favorite apps and the one I have been using the most lately. And the simple reason is that it is so easy to capture things inside of it. So if you want a second brain without having to think about or spending a lot of time organizing your second brain, Tooze might be the right app for you. I have tested so many apps and none of them have clicked the way Tooze have. So I would recommend this app to everyone. Everyone who asks, actually, I would recommend this app to them. And I have done so as well. So this is my favorite app. Again, a very new app. It will keep getting better, but as of right now, it works really great. And I have been using it a lot. So that's three second brain apps you can use to build your own second brain. Thank you for watching and if you want me to do a more in-depth video on any app, one of these or anything else, comment down below and I will try to get to it as soon as I can.